This presentation is based on A Workbook for Arguments, 3rd edition, by David R. Morrow and Anthony Weston. Um, in this presentation, we'll be looking at extended arguments, arguments that are developed systematically. Rule 29 is a rule for exploring the issue that an argument is about. An issue is a question that is relatively interesting or important and about which there can be reasonable disagreement. So an example of an issue is, what should the United States immigration policy be? The idea is that an issue should be something that it is fruitful or productive to argue about. So if an issue is not very interesting or important, or there's no basis for reasonable disagreement about it, it's not really fitting for doing systematic argumentation. We can make a distinction between two main types of issues, practical and theoretical. A practical issue is about what should be done, either a particular action or a general law, rule, or policy that should be enacted. A theoretical issue does not relate directly to action, but is more just about what we should believe about the way the world is. Um, you could look at practical issues as a proper subset of theoretical issues because they do involve beliefs about what we should do. But still, there's an important and useful distinction between issues about belief and issues about action. So when we're looking into an issue, we want to clarify it. A lot of times people think they're arguing about the same issue, but they're really introducing a new different issue that might be tangentially related to the original topic of discussion. So it's a useful skill to be able to specify the issue as one particular question. So if you think that your issue is immigration in general, immigration is not an issue. It's actually a general topic about which you could have a discussion or one or more arguments. These are some examples of particular issues related to the general topic of immigration. One, should the U.S. permit more immigration? Two, should the U.S. grant amnesty to undocumented immigrants? Three, should the U.S. deny welfare benefits and other services to undocumented immigrants? And you could also add our original issue, which, which is what should the U.S. immigration policy be? That's a kind of broader issue, but it still is one that can be framed as a single question. So the idea is you might be interested in the broader issue of what U.S. immigration policy should be. You might be interested in a more specific issue like should the U.S. grant amnesty to undocumented immigrants. But regardless, before you can have a productive uh, argumentation about an issue, you need to clarify what it is. Next, you want to identify some possible positions on the issue. This is a useful skill for um, developing your own arguments. Before you develop your argument and your position on an issue, it can be good to systematically explore the issue. So think of all the main or important positions that people could have on the issue. A position is going to be an answer to the question. So the issue is a question. The position, you should be able to state it as a single statement that answers the issue. Two general tips are to focus on positions that are worth considering because either they're plausible or they're popular or maybe both. The idea is if a, if a position is too implausible, it's not worth considering unless it happens to be popular, in which case you should consider it even if you don't think it's plausible just because a lot of other people believe it so it's worth arguing against. When you're looking at possible positions on an issue, beware of avoiding a false dichotomy. That's the second tip. So you want to make sure that you don't think there's only two positions on an issue when in fact there's more. For example, if you're considering the issue of is abortion morally permissible, you might think there's only two possible answers to that question or that issue, that either abortion is never morally permissible or that it's always morally permissible. But in fact, there's a range of positions you could have. There's more than two. So many of the, there are many intermediate positions according to which abortion is morally permissible in some cases, but not in others. Another example, returning to our earlier issue of what should the U.S. immigration policy be. These are some possible positions on that issue that would be worth exploring. 
no limit to legal immigration. This is also called the open borders uh, position. No legal immigration at all. That would be an extreme closed borders position. But notice if you just stop there, that would be a false dichotomy. So there are many other possible positions. Maintain the current levels of immigration. Give legal amnesty to the current stock of undocumented immigrants already residing in the United States. Increase the level of legal immigration. Decrease the level of legal immigration from what it is currently at. Um, craft a policy which gives preference for skilled immigrants of certain specified kinds. This one is not so popular, but it's worth considering. Craft a policy which gives preference for unskilled immigrants. And the idea behind this would be that actually there are shortages of certain types of labor that's often regarded as unskilled, such as agricultural labor. It's not a widely known position, so this wouldn't be uh, popular perhaps, but it's plausible enough to be worth considering. And a final example of a position on this issue is charging a tax or a fee for the right to immigrate. Again, not a very uh, popular position, but maybe one that would be plausible. You'd be creating a kind of market, essentially, for the right to migrate.